Oh, so excuse me, please. So, Could I grow up with you? 
Cheers. <laughs> do a song that I wrote, uh, this is a song that I wrote for my dad, and it's a, just basically a song about the idea that us as human beings are equal, whether you're a black man, white man, Asian, Hispanic, and the simple idea as a young kid, as my dad tried to put these uh, words of wisdom into me, is, is kind of a strange philosophy. As I grow older, as I continue to grow older, I thank my dad to teach me the idea of unity. And you think about, like, as a punk culture, and this is a fucking cool thing, by the way, having a show here at the homestead. Anytime you play a punk house, it's a lot of fun. So thank you so much. This is awesome. Very cool. But without being, you know, overtly political, and I, you know, a lot of times I hate when bands preach and preach, but it's a simple idea. We're all fucking the same. We bleed the same color blood. This song is about unity. How cliche that is, but to my dad, this song is for him. For him. It's called Blue Marble. Yes. Your politics are boring, and the sound you hear is snoring. Are the youth encouraged by the status quo of all we know? The fire used to burn the flag, what's left we use for gritty rags. All the world will see the news and smile in despair. The feminists are marching with their fists raised in the air. Palestine is free, but we forgot to tell it's real. The women drive the bikes with ties and Christians sing a song. The Muslims from the Holy Land, it's impossible to see. I'm just a stranger in a strange, strange land. But I've got many things to say. I'm just a stranger in a strange, strange land. With you, I need everybody to see. Well, come on down to my home. And I've got something to say. Come on now, tomorrow, and I've got something to say. The world's a big blue marble that I'd like to share with you. The world's a big blue marble that I'd like to share with you. And the bombs are dropping faster and the trees are falling down. And the members of democracy are counting just on me. But me could be the death of you and man can fall asleep. Well, we owe the world a second chance to swallow all our greed. The feminists are marching with their fists raised in the air. Palestine is free, but we forgot to tell Israel. The Mormons ride the bikes with ties and Christians sing a song. The Muslims in the Holy Land is impossible to see. I'm just a stranger in a strange, strange land. But I've got many things to say. I'm just a stranger in a strange, strange land. With you and me. Everybody to see it. Well, come on now, tomorrow. And I've got something to say. Well, come on now, tomorrow. And I've got something to say. The world's a big blue marble that I'd like to share with you. The world's a big blue marble that I'd like to share with you. I'm going to do a new song. I wrote this song about a, a punk band from Olympia, Washington that I was, I really liked. They were called Bikini Kill. And uh, everyone like seems to be a big fan of Kathleen Hanna, but I love Toby Vale so much. Like She was my idol. And... Um, I actually saw them play at a little punk warehouse like this in Oakland, and this is my ode to Toby Bell. And I like Toby Bell the best. Fuck, this is so I. See, the thing is, I don't have a PA, and I'm trying to change keys, and I'm making excuses for my inadequacy. <laughs> And I like Toby Bell the best I wonder if she would like me 
Just having the camaraderie of Chris and my friend Hiro, who came from Tokyo. Hey, Hiro! This is a dream come true, and try not, trying not to take music for granted is, you know, a lot of bands I, that I'm friends with or get to that bigger level, and I watch them on stage, I'm all, fucking they don't even give a shit about the people anymore, and they're just these fake smiles, and, you know, the goal is to never get back <coughs> to remain. <laughs> I will say that again. Say that. They're good dudes, they, and they love, they love the music, too, and so, you know, this is just, you know, I'm trying to remember I love music, and this is fucking awesome, and to, if you guys could see in my heart, like, the joy, the puttering right now, playing this show, you'd be like, fuck, he's really... <laughs> 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 You know, Another one. As, as playing acoustic guitar and, and um, being in the ska bands back in the early 90s and even the late 80s, people say, you know, when you play a ska song, I never do, but fuck, tonight, I do anything you want, so I'm going to play a ska song. <laughs> The goal is to fucking to try to get people to fucking stink and stand up, stand up, and I'm gonna sing as loud as I fucking can. But you gotta fucking skank. I don't care how fucking stupid it looks. Like, do it for me. And I'll <laughs>
So this is the this is the first time first time I've been on tour in, in 16 months and in that time my wife and I we had a baby girl her name is Maggie She's a good kid man good kid good kid she's going to be punk as fuck it's gonna be So the only thing about leaving for tour is super sad so this song goes out to them Hold on that stage. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. And Woo. you look crazy today in April of me. You didn't mean to share your heart with me. I can't wait to grow old together. But then you gray, I'm going in love with you. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking it on through. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking it. It on. Dear friend, the greatest friend, that I'm breathing is so close to you. I can't wait to grow old together. With every gray, I'm all in love with you. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking it on through. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking it. Call you on that stage. I'm wondering about you every day. Call you on that stage. I'm wondering about you every single day. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking it on through. Extend my hand and I hope you will too. My culture bleeds, but I'm shaking. Call you on that stage. I'm wondering about you every day. Call you on that stage. I'm wondering about you every day. song about Canadian television. Um, there was a show when I was a kid called Degrassi Junior High, and uh, it's very good. Teen, like, it deals with teen issues, but there's, I don't know, there's a certain charm that I liked, and... Uh, you find a girl from that, basically. Oh, uh, fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I started getting older, I was like, you know, why not become that fucking fanatic and find her? <laughs> so I started touring, and we were going, we were going to Toronto on tour, and I'm like, this is where the show's from, why not, I'm gonna find her, and like, all my bandmates were like, yeah, whatever, humoring me on this situation, but you know, once we crossed the border into Canada, I met a group of punk kids, and I started talking about the show, and one of the kids said, you know, I believe she works in Kensington Market, which, you know, I had no idea what that meant. They could say, like, you know, she works in the shopping district in Southampton, but I was game. I had a lead. Um, <laughs> so I started walking to every store and just popping in, and I went to this one head shop that sells, um, like, smoking paraphernalia, rolling papers and bongs, water bombs. Stuff like that. Hot Rock Cafe, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, wow, that is fucking the girl. She was working the counter. And I was with my friend Jerry. I'm like, I believe that's her. 
But she was wearing a Pantera shirt on. I'm just like, well, basically, I was like, fuck, do I want the girl that I like liking Pantera? But then I was just, I got nervous and I left, and then uh, I went back the next day and uh, she wasn't there, so I just asked the girl at the counter just to make sure, though. And I said, is the girl from Degrassi, does she work here? And she said, yeah, that's my best friend. I was like, damn, I fucked up. But uh, <laughs> I was playing a show, so I gave her flyers. I said, if you could give this to her, that'd be great. And so I played the show, I was packing up, and then someone tapped me on the shoulder. And when I looked up, it was her, and she had a Misfit shirt on. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and so we just started talking, took a lot of pictures, and she said she'd be visiting uh, the States and California in particular during the summer. So I gave her my number, and then two months later, she called me. <laughs> she stayed at my house. Oh, my. <laughs> but I live, with, I live with my parents, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> but regardless, this is a... Uh, this is song for it's called I'm in Love with a Girl Named Spike. Woo! Yeah! There is a girl named Spike from the grassy high. She had a baby when she was really young. Her best friend is a skinhead chick. She knows an Asian point of view. Caitlin, she is very shit. But I am still in love with a girl named Spike. Girl named Spike, and I am still in love with a girl named Spike, and I am still in love with a girl named Spike, a girl named Spike, a girl named Spike, a girl named Spike. Girl named Spike. I don't write a love song. In fact, it makes me very sick. Despite the girl from the grassy high, she's truly one cool chick. She has the best the TV show, better than Beverly Hills 90210. She had a dopey hope, oh, she's okay. But I am still in love with a girl named Spike. A girl named Spike. And I am still in love with a girl named Spike. And I am still in love with a girl named Spike. A girl named Spike. A girl named Spike. Thank you. Let me try. I'll try this. I fucking haven't played this in a long time. I'm 22 now, but I want to keep People ask me when you grow up to be a man, but all the girls I love in school are already Christian friends. I love the words you wrote to me, but that was bloody yesterday. Can't rely on what you said and can't rely on what you said. Can't rely on what you said and can't rely on what you said. Can't rely on what you said and can't rely on what you said. I don't want you to change the world. I'm not looking for you, England. I'm just looking for another girl. Can't rely on what you send every time you need a friend. I saw two shooting stars last night, and I wish on them. But there were only satellites around to wish on space hardware. I wish, I wish, I wish you can. And I don't want you to change the world. I'm not looking for New England, I'm looking for another girl. Looking for New England, looking for another girl, looking for another girl, looking for another girl. Yesterday in England, and uh, 
we are being, <laughs> me and Chris, we flew from San Francisco, and it was a great flight because it was only about 25% full and I had my own row, and so I was like, man, this is going to be great, I'm going to sleep the whole time, but every time I started to fall asleep, Chris kept poking at me. <laughs> He's like, are you asleep? I'm like, you the fucker. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> and then we got to Brighton. I was like, really? 15 minutes of sleep. And we uh, we got into our friend uh, Buzz, who owns the Punker Bunker. Do you know that store? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we fall asleep from from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. We fall asleep. Then we do the show. And then. I was extremely tired, so me and Hero, we stayed in, but Chris went out, and then woo, yeah. he came stumbling back at 4 a.m., <laughs> takes his clothes off, and just starts dancing. <laughs> it's fun and all, but then fucking he falls asleep, and I'm fucking up till 8 a.m. <laughs> And so, <laughs> so I look at my watch when I finally wake up and it's like 2 p.m. I'm like, oh shit. So the whole day is wasted and we had hoped that we could really spend some time in Brighton because it's a beautiful city. So to you, Chris McCoggin, you fucker! <laughs> Buzz, how's it? Shoot. Actually, he just went to Hawaii and I just went to Hawaii. Fault. So we're trying to we're trying to speak Hawaiian, but oh, what the fuck am I talking about? I'll just shut up here. God damn. I don't, I don't know what the fucking song I'm gonna play now, you asshole. <laughs> Wine cap! Fresh, you know? God, Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. yeah, see, where's that CD? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should play, uh, Face to Face. First song! Mind the Gap. Oh, oh, God. Let me try. I played that, I played that for the first time yesterday. Does it, does it take, does it take two days to fly over there? I don't know, I've never been on a plane before. Do they drive on the wrong side? Saw it in movies, it was Chevy Chase doing that vacation thing. <laughs> hey friend, you need to get out some more. Flight to London, ten hours or so. Take the train, you'll be much better off. There's no thing get involved on the gap and get off. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, drink some whiskey with a mate you could meet. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. England is waiting, there's no better treat. Now London is only a short flight away. The cottage in Cambridge and serves beer all day. London is only a short flight away. Head south to Brighton, it's a much better day. Woo! Woo! Wait to see friends Buzz, Emma, and Lou Play some music with the lads and the King Blues Fall in love with black tea all over again Yes, I'll take mine with milk and some sugar too <laughs> Hey friend, you need to get out some more Flight to London in an hour or so Take the train, you'll be much better off If the big and involved, mind the gas and get off Clap your hands, stop your feet Drink some whiskey with the mate you can beat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Anyway, this man is no better treat. Now London is only a short flight away. Women in the leads only smile and say, London is only a short flight away. We head south to Southampton, it's a much better day. <laughs>
Chris had said earlier that we did bring some merch, but the problem with when you're traveling by train, it's it's very heavy. So <laughs> we actually had a box shipped here, so we have some shirts that we sent it to Matt's work at the skate shop. I forgot what it's called. Rest 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 out there, owns it. <laughs> Plug. <Go through. laughs> Thank you for letting me deliver some stuff. So, um, yeah, like you said, we're just trying to, um, we're not going to set any prices, just whatever you can pay, um, we'll give you shit. So, uh, 20 p. 20 p. It's like $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> no, but yeah. Basically, yeah, I'm just trying to get lighten the load, lighten the load. Um, anybody from Exeter? I know I talked to some people from Exeter earlier. Okay, so when we go to the ca Cavern Club, what train station do we get off? Do we get Central or St. David's? Central. 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 Okay. But you okay. might have to change to St. David's. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, from St. David's, how far is the walk to uh, the Cavern? Can I, we just get off there? About. A hundred miles. Miles. <laughs> so set to like the Cavern Club? St. David's, I thought was... Uh, no. Two seconds. Maybe. Oh, really? About five okay. minutes. Okay. 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 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours. What's <laughs> that age? Exorcist time. Four days and four nights. <laughs> Start walking now. <laughs> does anyone... Go ahead, start. Does anyone, um... Uh, is anyone a fan of the, like, the Batman Begin movie? Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> I am too. <laughs> uh, the reason I, I uh, mention it is that uh, I'd seen it 11 times in theaters and then uh, <laughs> and, uh, what I wanted, the, the little tidbit here, so Matt, Matt from Alpine Trio, he loves that movie yeah. too. Uh, so, so he was, he was, uh, he, he was saying, okay, before the movie got filmed, the new movie is getting filmed, he said, I'm going to be in this movie. So, somehow he finagled himself into this movie. So look, the new Batman, Max in it for two no seconds. No fucking way. And he's like, oh, shit is falling, and he's just like, he goes like, this. <laughs> <laughs> go for that. Weird. And also, what about Angels in the Outfield? Anyone see Angels in the Outfield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You fuckers, that's such a classic movie like this. <laughs> Gone with the Wind, Angels in the Outfield. No, just kidding. Anyways. But no, get it's Angels in the Outfield. Because I'm in it. I'm in it. <laughs> it's a baseball movie, and so if you look like at the end, like the pitcher's getting tired, and they keep flashing like, like new pitchers are getting warmed up, and I'm in the front row with the number one finger like this. <laughs> so. Skeeba's trumped you. <laughs> I don't really like the homestead anymore. <laughs> touché, 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 okay. Um, CD, please. Where's that CD? It's mine. It's to be there too. That's too slow. I was gonna, you know, I have, a lot of, you. I have a lot of ballady songs. It's just not appropriate, so I'm not gonna put you through that torture. Marketplace. I have no idea how to remember how to play that, so I don't want to be a dick. And by the way, the, the, the use of profanity, I never swear at home. It's like I'm very like, hey, nice to meet you. And I, so I, excuse my language, but um, I, I, fuck, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to play. I'm gonna just do, I'll do, I'll do, I'm going to do two more songs and that's it. And then uh, uh, we're going to go. we got to eat. I think we're going to stay at Matt's girlfriend's home and we're going to cook some food. We want to make pasta and uh, <laughs> vegetables and um, what else were we saying? Make chicken. salad? You want chicken? No, you want chicken. You want chicken. You said you want chicken. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know what to do. Okay, okay. I'm going to try to do, I'm gonna try to do songs I've never played live. Why don't I do that? Okay, here we go. Out the heart of Texas With my face smashed up against the glass Yeehaw! <laughs> in 5th in grade, I wrote a report on Texas But I can't remember why I chose that place In Houston 
raise the key. <laughs> oh! In the Dallas Rogers Starbuck plays the lead. The Alamo is not a car rental company. The teacher told the class to buy her porn. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, that's it. One more song, I'm done. I'm, I gotta put you out of this fucking torture, okay? <laughs> okay, so this song... Uh, okay, The 70s Show. Did that make it to the UK? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, my mate, a mate of mine from high school, his name is Shannon Smith. His father is Kurtwood Smith, the actor that plays Red on that 70s show. So growing up in high school, we hung out with him, and we would, his dad just started getting popular. He did a movie called Robocop, and we got hey, to hey, 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 hey. <laughs> And so we would go to his house uh, and um, partake in, in smoking herb. And I was, never, I was never a big drinker, and I didn't party a lot, and I, I still don't, but once in a while I would get high, and my friends enjoyed the entertainment factor, because when I got high, I was like doing flips, and I was out of my mind. But, I don't know. but we would go, we would go to his house, and we would watch tape television on their VCR. And the reason we would watch it, because we'd get high, and we would do it in slow motion, and because we, we just thought, because he was an actor, they had a great VCR, and you could watch it, and it was really clear. And we would watch episodes of The Brady Bunch and get high, and we're like, this is amazing. <laughs> and so, on this one afternoon, we were watching tape Brady Bunch episodes, and it was the Hawaii episodes. I don't know if you've ever seen that. And, and like, Alice was hula dancing, and we were just so high, and we're like, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> and so, I wrote this song, it's called Mr. Hanalei, and it's about the Hawaii episodes of Brady Bunch. And by the way, these songs, this is like 15 years old. By the way, I'm way older than any of you, but I'm fucking Asian and I'll stay young forever, you yeah. fuck! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Please, Mr. Honolay, would you tell me what to do? Please, Mr. Honolay, don't know what to do. Alice heard her back. Brother Greg almost drowned on a surfboard. A spider almost killed Peter. A wall decoration almost killed me. The TV, it is evil. I don't know what to do. So please, Mr. Honolay, would you tell me what to do? In this song, in the recorded version, I. I pretend I'm Bobby Brady talking to Mr. Hanalei. I'm not gonna do that, so let's skip the next one. Okay. I'm trying to remember. So he goes, Mr. Hanalei, we found this evil TP and it's bringing us bad luck. Could you help us? <laughs> he says, when I was, he was like, I, I can't do it, man. So he just basically says, hey, uh, yeah, when, my, when I was young, my dad told me about the tiki's and he said they're bad luck and I never touched them. And then Bobby goes, but you're on the hill. And he's like, okay, I'll tell you. And so the song continues. And we went. <laughs> the bus driver said that we were crazy and we went. Towards a cave, leaving my popcorn as a trail to safety, and I like my popcorn. I like my popcorn. And we met Vincent Price, his tiki name Oscar, and we have one man to thank. One man to thank, Mr. Hanalei. Mr. Hanalei. Mr. Hanalei. Mr. Hanalei. Thank you so much.
yeah, again, uh, thanks, and if you do want to get some stuff, we'll have it up here, so. Hey, cheers, peace.